Hello and welcome to this video detailing the latest update to Sage 200 Standard and Education. Hot on the heels of our most recent update, where we added the ability to create and amend quotations and sales orders on any web-enabled device, we've listened to your feedback and have added further functionality to this area. First up, we have the Quotation Status field. This is a new feature which allows you to set the status of either live or lost against a quotation. This gives you the ability to quickly see and report on which quotations you've lost, allowing you to investigate as to the reasons why. To stop users dealing with your customer accounts that are placed on credit hold, any user that raises a quotation for a customer in this scenario will receive a warning. You can still raise the quotation, but until their situation has been resolved, you won't be able to convert it to a sales order. Keep a track of all of your quotation correspondence with the memo tab. This new feature allows you to keep a full record of your interactions with your customer regarding a particular quotation. You can track questions the customer may have raised, you can use it to plan when to make a follow-up call, which you can then record in the memo tab. You can also record your customer interactions in the memo tab on our sales order screens. Here, you can record aftercare calls, customer inquiries, and any other pertinent information, allowing you to respond to your customer needs throughout the sales order process. You can now add an expiry date to your quotation, ensuring both your salesperson and their prospect have a deadline to close the deal. Whether you deal with time-sensitive stock or just need a way to prioritize which quotations you need to follow up first, then this new feature is perfect. You can now customize our web screens to see information that's just relevant to your role or any task that you're looking to complete. For example, you may want to see which quotes are due to expire soon. The columns on these screens can be filtered, resorted and resized to your liking. You can even save this view to ensure that when you open Sage 200, you're ready to go. If your business has been voluntarily submitting your VAT returns, from April 2022, you will need to change how you make your VAT submissions. This is because the HMRC Initiative to Making Tax Digital, or MTD, for VAT will become mandatory, and all of the businesses registered for VAT must submit digital records for their VAT accounting. To support this change, we will be deactivating the ability to use the XML VAT submission feature within the program, effective with this release. If historically you use the XML submission feature, you can do one of the following. You can either move to making tax digital for VAT. If you choose this option, then you can submit directly from Sage 200 for single company submissions, or you can use our making tax digital module if you need to make a multi-company submission. For more information on this, please visit our knowledge base, gb-kb.sage.com and search for Making Tax Digital. The other option you have is to opt in to use the HMRC portal to submit manually. That's it for this update, but keep an eye out for future releases as you move further from desktop dependency towards freedom to manage your account from anywhere at any time. For more information on Sage 200 Professional, Standard or Education, you can view our online help files here or our knowledge base here. Yeah.